Hey YouTube, Mike here. How are we doing today? Hope we all had a very nice uh, week. Uh, it's real cold here in Florida. It was 25 degrees the other day. Had to use a heat gun to warm up my boots that were left inside the truck. Uh, it's like a backup south again. All right. Um, I've had a few requests and a few um, questions in the comments about what type of uh, drill bits, um, Forstner bits, <clears throat> hole saws that I use here at the shop. Um, and as you know, I'm in the plumbing business and we do use a lot of hole saws um, to run our pipes. So today I'm gonna go over what, um, what I have here at the shop and a lot of this stuff is mirrored um, what we use our go-to bits um, for um, my business that we have used extensively. So <clears throat> let's just jump right in. Um, my, my main bits that I would use um, probably for like aluminum, uh, putting the edging in my truck bins or um, something on one of my uh, the bins here uh, inside of the shockwave Milwaukee bit case that has your 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 nut drivers your extensions there's three there's three um, drill bits from um, three thirty seconds to a quarter inch they're hardened steel they have the hex shanks on them that will fit into the, the hex chucks um, they're good bits. They are hardened steel. Um, they have. Dr I've drilled steel with them. We carry these also um, in our truck for you know bit assortments. And when we have to drill, um, you know either through a piece of wood or a piece of light steel, they're very good. Very good bits. So um, the, the set, um, uh, the set is about. I think it's about twenty dollars. Comes with the. Um, uh, nut drivers, it comes with a um, quarter inch to three eighth shank, a bunch of other bits, uh, small Phillips, and then it comes with medium size and long size shank bits. So it's a good, good three piece set um, to do some light um, drilling. The other set that I bought before they came out with their cobalt set is this. This is hardened steel, they're 135 degree taper and it's a set that goes from 1 16th to half inch um, it's good for plastic wood or steel um, it's medium grade um, hard hard and steel it's about $29.99 for this set it's um, it's the set when it, you know it's displayed open so of course as you can see it's the black case um, good bits we we have used these to drill probably up to one eighth inch steel uh, plate, and as long as you're using some lubricant, which we're going to get at in, in a second, um, it drills it f fairly decent. Um, again, I don't really drill any wood with these. Okay, we'll get into I, I use those the brad points for drilling drilling wood. So any of the regular taper shank. <clears throat> whether it's the anti-walk um, hardened steel or the cobalt or titanium, you should be using it to drill um, steel um, with it or aluminum, copper, tin, whatever. So this is another good set of, of bits. Again, it's from 1 to 1 half inch. It's 135 degree tapered. Now, they came out with this cobalt set. Now, I have two of them. I keep actually one on the top of my drill press and I keep one in one of my cis ports. It's the exact same bit. Um, again, 135 degree, 1 16th through 1 half. And as you can see, it's the bronze color. It's, it's not round shank. If you're familiar with a round shank, these have the flat, it has the three flat sides if you could see them. That will fit nice into the three-piece Jacobs chucks. So there's no, no walking. If you've ever drilled and the bit bound, the drill chuck spins, the bit doesn't, and it ends up smoothing out the bit. Um, 
that new the wall drill that I reviewed um, a week or so ago that actually had that that truck that Jacobs truck prevents that but it'll still happen but that's what's good with a good drill bit that's what you'll have uh, okay it like I said now it's what they call it's their anti walk and I'll maybe let me see if you guys can see that you see the tip of the bit right here there's kind of like two steps it's a it's a brad point bit for steel and um it i i always center punch or use a punch to punch out the steel first or a spring-loaded center punch where i want to drill the steel out that always helps but this thing will with enough pressure will sit on the mark and drill through and it's it's cobalt hardened steel so it's it's twice as hard as the black one, the hardened steel, than the, um, these gold ones that come in the shockwave case. These are, this is around, uh, around about almost $50 for a set like this. Now, a set I'm gonna show you in my other cases is like 300 bucks. Um, they are uh, titanium. Uh, so, you know, not to spend that much. I mean, for what we drill for, yeah, we need it, especially with stainless steel. These things are a really good go-to bit set um, from Milwaukee. Now, I'll, I'll include all of the model numbers and the prices in the uh, description below. Okay. What I use to drill, and I'll, here, I'll open this up so you can see it. These things I find to be really good for drilling through tile. It's a tile bit. They come in, these, this is actually quarter inch because that's mostly what we use um, for the quarter inch anchors. But as you can see, it's, um, it has like a diamond tip and the masonry goes in and then you will ju you just hit it with a little water and a knife or a, a, a kind of something sharp, and you actually pick out what's in the center, and then you, you drill again. They 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 last, I would say at least twenty holes through a good like quarry tile, really hard quarry tile. Um, the only thing with this is you have to start a hole with a masonry bit first before you go in with this. But uh, Home Depot sells them. It's right in the, um, in the, the aisle that has the um, hammer drill bits. Um, they have them up to three quarter. Okay. Brad point. This is a set of the Walt Brad point bits. I keep them here in this sustainer drawer and it goes from one sixteenth to one half. It's a variable taper, Brad Point, and it's a 30 degree arc on the front of the bit. They're very sharp and very good bits. Very nice for wood. They're um, a set of one, two, three, four, five, six, set of six bits. They don't come in no case, they just come in a plastic, and I leave them inside of this drawer. And when I need to drill a pilot hole through even oak, they go through perfectly. Um, they're, um, I think, in the 1999 range. All right, the next thing here, let me open them up and I'll show you one. This is actually a metal hole saw bit from Milwaukee. It comes in a set of three, seven eighth, inch and an eighth, and inch and three eighths. And basically, <clears throat> It's a pre-assembled metal hole saw with a starter bit and a spring to eject the metal disc. And we, I found these, and when we run our gas pipe through the summer um, enclosures, there's a, a, an aluminum strut that we bring the gas pipe through. And this thing drills it like butter. It, it'll drill an electrical panel for a knockout. This is good for a head. See, this set is like for an electrical. And as you can see on the case, they're drilling through a sub panel. And these, the, the three sets, this, three, this set of three is all good for the three major um, electrical connectors. But it's perfect for our gas pipe 
or for a drain line, a half inch piece of uh, a poly or CPVC, perfect for this. Very sharp and they last a long time. We have a set of three on our truck and they're probably six, seven months old. But that's it, and as you can see, it's got a little spring that ejects the um, uh, little disc out after you cut. All right, um, oh, <clears throat> step bits. This happens to be a Greenlee. Um, I like these bits, especially when I have to open up a hole. Now, we have these up to uh, inch and three-eight for a sink. And basically, as you can see, when you put it in the drill, as you go through the metal, yeah, you, this, will, this one actually will do a starter. Some you have to drill a hole and then use it. But it'll go down to 7 eighths. It'll go from 1 eighth to 7 eighth hole. That 7 eighth is good for a half inch knockout for an electrical connection. But it's also good for us for a half inch piece of pipe. So the good step bit, Milwaukee sells a set of two with uh, three drill bits, $49.95 in a red case. This one, like I said, happens to be a Greenlee one, uh, the electrical company, and oh, no, I'm, actually, I'm sorry. I'm lying to you. This is a Milwaukee. This is a Milwaukee one, a step bit. These are very good bits, very good go-to bits um, if you have to open up or make a perfectly round hole in metal. Now, they do make these um, uh, titanium that you can actually drill right through a piece of half-inch steel. All right, um, we'll finish with these bits and then I'll get to my cases. These two sets here are our main, actually, go-to bit set that we keep on our truck for drilling for our sewer pipes and our water pipes. Now, as you can see, this is a brand new, this has never been used, still has the instructor sheet. But this set here is their three tooth carbide tip set. Okay, it starts at, what is this, two and an eighth, and goes right up to four and five eighths. So this whole set here is good for inch and a, our inch and a half to four inch PVC pipe. Extremely sharp. It comes with an arbor, and it's the lock arbor. So we'll just use this bit for an example. You, you spin this on part of the way, and then as you can see, you push in this, which then locks the bit. There's a rubber O-ring right there that when you screw this down, it prevents it from binding. So now you make your hole, you gotta take some, and th this actually drills out more of the wood and leaves less in here. So it's very easy to pull out the piece, but if it gets jammed, it's, you just, it's very easy to unscrew it, pull it, pull out your bit, pop in something and you can pop out the, uh, the core. The set comes with two additional centering, your Allen key, and a file to sharpen the carbide tips. Uh, never use the file. As long as, I mean, we drill through nails with these and it, it, it's, they have still stay sharp. And we have this exact set we have used for well over a year. Okay, the Milwaukee hole saw, metal hole saw set. As you can see, I do use them for some wood. But this set comes with um, it goes from two and a half to three quarter. Comes with two different arbors, the same arbor, that same push arbor with the O-ring, and then it comes with a smaller arbor. I showed you this arbor. This arbor here, you actually screw it on, and then of course, what you have to get it in a vise and get a, an adjustable wrench on it to remove to swap it out. It also comes with an adapter with a, an anti-friction ring that you can use this for the bigger arbor. Without that, it won't fit. And as you can see, this, it will not fit in there without it. 
your Allen key, and it comes with two additional centering bits, which are identical for both arbors. So this one here, you loosen it from there, and the centering bit will come out. This one, the same thing there. And if you're not familiar with these bits, there's, again, flat sides that the Allen key locks into to prevent it from spinning inside of the arbor. Now, these here are hardened steel. I'll show you other ones that are just mild steel for other arbors. Okay. Oh, let me just show you this quick little trick here. I take a Dremel, cordless Dremel, with one of them really inexpensive wire wheels. And when we're done, we get back to the shop or here in the, what I do is I use the wire wheel to clean out the teeth. Instead of using something like a file or something that's sharp, this wire wheel won't dull your bit. And that will then clean out the bit. Also, if you want to test one of these bits, now don't rake it hard, just take your finger and run it across the top of the bit. If it's like snagging your skin, the bit is still sharp. A little, little uh, but don't rake it, just run your finger easy across it. All right, now, I got three sustainers. I got a sys two and two sys ones, and I'm gonna pan over to my drill press and show you where, and you can see my video on it. As you can see on the bottom of my drill press, is where I store them. Sys two on the bottom, two sys ones on the on the top. All right, let's get this back in here. Okay, what I use these is I store bits that I use at the mostly at the drill press and also around. In the sys two, I keep. This is an older set of rigid bits that goes from three quarter two inch and three quarter. Um, mild steel, it comes with a single um, arbor with the adapter piece, no washer. This set was like, I think it was like $19. Good set, I've used it extensively, they're still sharp, um, but it's an inexpensive set for, for you to start with. I mean, these here, are in the $79 to $100 range. The um, whole source set is probably like around $110 for that set. So this is a good starter set. They still sell it at uh, Home Depot. Uh, comes in a nice uh, lockable case. Then I have, it's, it's hickey. Uh, some are missing. Uh, Forstner bits. It was pr probably one of the first Forstner bits set that I bought missing a few, some got just busted up. Um, nice set, uh, quarter to one inch. I still keep the set, I, I don't throw a lot of stuff out in case I need something in between that. This set here from Ryobi is, is a very good set, and, and again, Home Depot sells it still. Comes in this decent case, it's made to be put on the wall and then you can open it up and take it out. It starts at a quarter of an inch and it goes to two and one eighth. Now, I've had this set probably over two years and it's a very, very nice set. Uh, very sharp, um, I've used it in the drill press, nothing large, but you know, probably up to inch and a half, inch and three eighth. Uh, very sharp, very nice centering bit to start your hole out where you could see your marks. Uh, I think this was around $39.95. Uh, they still sell it at Home Depot. The um, nice set if you want a um, pretty much complete set of Forstner bits. And then uh, the, another hole saw set that I have is from Diablo. Now this, Diablo makes very good drill, very good hole saws, very good drill bits. This set I actually got as a closeout. 
This set's about 200 bucks. I got it for, I think, $69. Uh, this tool store was getting rid of them. The beauty about this set is, is that you have one arbor and multiple size pole saws. So let's just take this inch and three quarter hole saw. As you can see, it has a hex collar and it snaps right into, so that's how easy it is to take out the bit. And it comes with two additional hex pieces and every single one of them will lock into this arbor. Push. And then you just, just like a regular chuck, right down to the, what is this? This is three quarter. Right down to three quarter. Also, it takes a standard um, drill bit. So I don't know if they still sell them. Uh, they sell them individually. You can buy them individually and you can buy the arbor individually. So this is what I keep inside of this sustainer tube. Here is the other centering bit for the hole saws. As you can see, it's the silver and this is the mild steel. Again, they have the three-sided flats for the Allen key. Okay, this one, if I'm going to guess correctly, is all of my pen turning. And I keep one um, Forstner bit for the Euro-style Euro hinges, and I keep the plastic on it so I remember that's what it is. But these are all my different drill bits, uh, 25 60 fourths, they're all weird sizes, um, 10 millimeter, quarter inch, 33 60 fourths, all different, uh, I keep a mandrel um, for my uh, shavers, but these are have every bit in here that I would be using, what is this, 3.8? This is all the different drill bits, 7, 8, Forstner. This is all for the pen turning, um, shavers, bottle stops, ice pick, flint, uh, whatever I would sit and do on the lathe to drill out prior to doing my uh, turning. So I keep everything inside of this one sustainer. <clears throat> It's getting a little overcrowded. I'm going to have to look at getting something else. And then my last set, which is a little heavy, has all of my other drill bits. Now, as you know, I have the woodpecker top for the, uh, the drill press, and I keep extra um, sacrificial blocks in here. We'll go through, I keep some extra hole saws, Milwaukee hole saws, a spade bit, another um, arbor. These are just extras that I'm just letting them lay around. I'm going to show you this last. Um, here's another set of Forstner bits that I bought years ago. Uh, they're made in China. I don't even know. Carbide Tech. Uh, quarter to one inch. An another very good uh, woodcrafter sells them. Another very good go-to uh, Forstner set that's under 50 bucks. Then I keep a set of, wood, from Woodcraft, uh, for the uh, plugs. And these are quarter to 5.8 in, well, male and female plug set. And... This is, uh, again, a, a, a set of Brad Point, missing a lot of bits, variable size, var variable size bits, in case I need something. Again, I don't, I, don't li I don't like to throw things out. I also don't like to add better stuff to something that's cheap. So it just kind of, you know, kind of confuses me a little bit there. 
Now, this here is a Hoyt. These are what they, these are Hoyt drill bits. These are hardened number four titanium bits. I actually we have two sets of these because we kept them on two different trucks. So since I only have the one truck, I brought it here. These bits will drill everything. With some lubricant, you could drill one inch of steel without even blinking an eye. You can drill stainless, you can drill cast iron, you can drill anything with these bits. They are 350 bucks for this set. And uh, I am quite crying because my 5 16 um, is missing. So uh, I don't know if it was me or probably me. I'll blame myself. Um, very good drill bits. It's a company called H-U-O-T, Hort, made in USA, and they're um, uh, 1 16th to 1 half inch by 1 32nd increments. They're not numbered drill bits. They are um, standard size drill bits. Then the last thing that I keep, a key case inside of this case. This is um, a case you can get from Sears for drill bits, or, uh, easy outs, and I keep my, they're bolt sizes. They're from quarter inch to half inch bolts. So when we used to have to drill out our bolts, we would use this to drill them out and then retap them. These are number five hardened titanium bits. This one is a stubby, and then I have the longer shank bits. Now, these are a rounded, so you have, th these are actually made for one of those magnetic uh, drill presses that you would clamp onto steel, and then the weight of it would actually drill through the steel. It has its own lubricant on board and everything. So I keep them separately inside of this in a step number order so that I know what one to use first and then which one to use second. And I, like I said, then these two here are 20 millimeter Forstner bits. When I was making, um, like my outfeed table has uh, the 20 millimeter holes uh, when I was using it here in the field. So these are my two 20 millimeter Forstner bits. So I, I, know, I know where they are. Kind of, you know, doesn't, like I said, doesn't, doesn't confuse me. And it's a, this, it's a decent case and you just tie it up and it keeps the bits nice um, in one place, not banging against each other. And I leave them right in with my other drills. Okay, YouTube, um, I hope this was helpful. Um, if you guys want me to do any of demonstration, I, I just didn't have the stuff set up to do a demonstration. I just wanted to go over. Like I said, I had about quite a few questions on what type of drill bits I was using and um, or hold saws and, and Forstner bits. So that's what I use. Um, as I said, a good majority of them, uh, not just from my shop, we have, like I said, we have used them extensively on the job site and we have found them to be very, very good bits, especially the Milwaukee, um, the Shockwave set. Again, this Shockwave set is a very good bit set. Um, we have used them to drill, we've even drilled out uh, fender washers to make the holes bigger. We have the little vise on the truck and they drill through really good. Okay, quick little tip, lubricant. Let me grab a standard lubricant that you guys would use. WD-40. Now, as far as lubricant for when you're drilling through steel, yeah, WD-40 is great. But, you know, you're drilling a bunch of holes. It's not expensive, but there's a cheaper way to do it. And it's a way that we use it. Now, I do not have this in this shop. I have it on my truck, but I don't have one here in my shop. I actually would make it up. But all you do is take a spray bottle or a squirt bottle and fill it with Dawn dish soap and water. Shake it up and now you have water coolant, soap lubricant. They work great. 
and it costs nothing. You, a bottle of Dawn, I mean, you know, we're not, we're not machinists and we're not drilling, you know, we're not, I mean, you're not going to, um, you know, lathe something or turret lathe something with it, but it's a good lubricant. It works really well, especially with the hole saws if you're going to drill through steel and especially with your drill bits. Yeah, WD-40 is great. We even, we don't have threading oil. We use WD-40 to make one good thread with the machine. But uh, Dawn dish soap or any really dish soap and uh, water works great in a spray bottle. And if you're on a job site, you don't happen to have a spray bottle, take a water bottle, soapy water, punch a hole through the top, and now you got yourself a cheap squirt bottle. All right, YouTube. Um, I'd like to thank everybody for the well wishes on my knee. Uh, thank you very much, I really appreciate it. Um, I'm just waiting on results. Uh, today, it, I, I seem to be fine. I'm not wearing the brace and I'm not in agony. So, uh, thank you very much. Um, I'd like to thank everybody for all of the subscribes, all of the comments and all of the likes. And if you want a Mike's Woodshop sticker, just um, gonna include my email, just send me a mailing address and we'll mail you one out. All right, YouTube. Uh, I hope you all have a good weekend, and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye now.